Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the Trello REST API. And I'll also be doing a second video on this topic on how to automate Trello tasks using Python. So the reason for doing this video is because recently at work, I had to convert shortlisted applications into Trello cards and add all details of the application to the Trello card as well. So to get started, you'll need a Trello account. I've already set an account up just for this video. Once you've created the account, you will want to navigate to the uh, Trello API documentation. So once you get here, uh, it should be the first link that appears on your Google search result. Just search for Trello API and you'll, pro you'll get a link to this page here. Uh, click on the guide section and scroll all the way to the bottom to Trello REST API. And then we'll click on the API introduction. So the first step would be generating a token and an API key. And if you read through the documentation here, you'll, visit, you'll find this link which uh, leads to the uh, API key section where you generate your API keys and, and tokens. So I'll go ahead and acknowledge that I've read the terms and conditions and then show API key. So this is this is the API key that we'll be using for any uh, action that we need to perform, whether it's creating a card, adding short uh, checklists to our card, and so on. And then I'll need to generate the token. So I'll have to click on this link here. And then I'll go ahead and click allow. And this is my token. So I'll go ahead and copy that and paste it somewhere. Okay, now that's done, I'll also copy my API key. Okay, so now going back to the documentation here, if you go further down, you'll see uh, this section, which is uh, your first API call. So this part of the URL here, this will be our main uh, endpoint and any other details or data that we need to pass along for any action that we need to perform will just be appended to this endpoint here. So I'll just copy this section and paste that as well. So now that I have generated the token API key and we have the endpoint, I'll open up Postman and I'll create a new request. And this request will be creating a card. So this will be a post request. And I'll go ahead and paste in the main endpoint here. So now if I want to create a card, I'll have to go back to the documentation. And if I just click uh, on boards here, or rather click on REST API docs here, and then this should lead you to back to references where we started off at the very beginning. So now I need to create a card. I'll just click, click here, create new card. And these are the details that I need to append to my post request. So I'll say key. So I'll copy that. And I copied my API key earlier on. And then I'll also need my token. I also copied that. I'll just paste that in as well. Okay. And then What's also required is the name. Well, these are not necessarily required, but I'll just go ahead and add the name and a description. So name for my card will be test card and description would be test card description. Everything else here at the bottom is optional. So you can go ahead and add this to your call if you need to. So now going back to my Trello board, as you can see, I don't have any uh, applications in my uh, list here. And I think I might have left out one thing that I need. Oh yeah, so I left out this ID list in my request. So this ID list would be referencing one of these lists here. So either new application, in review, accepted or rejected. And each list has a unique ID. I'll show you just now how to get that. 
So to get the IDs of each list that's on my board, I'll just head back to the documentation. And on the left hand side here, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, there should be this section that says get list on a board. And then I'll need to make a call as well to get the uh, list IDs. So let me first copy this section of the endpoint. So for this call, I'll need uh, the board ID. I'll need the API key as well. And token. So I also don't have uh, my board ID. Uh, I'll need to get that as well. Uh, if I just go back to guides here and Trello REST API, back to introduction. Uh, this first link here, this will return my uh, board IDs. So I'll just go ahead and paste that in. Okay, now the board ID that I'm looking for would be Trello REST API overview. So I'll just need to copy the ID, which will be this one here. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and paste that there. Click send. Okay, so it's supposed to be forward slash boards. And then the board ID. And then forward slash list. Okay. So here's the ID for my new application list. And as you can see, I've got in review there and accepted, rejected, which are the other lists on my uh, board. So if I go ahead and paste in the uh, ID, uh, let me put this side by side with my Chrome tab so that you can see the card being created. Uh, if I go ahead and click send, the card should appear under new application section and there it is there. So as you can see, the ID for this card, uh, it's this uh, string here and all the other details you can see if I scroll down, those are all the other details. And if I go into the card, the title or the name of the card is test, top, test card, which was passed in the request, same as the description. So now let's say you want to uh, create a checklist for your card. And basically all you need is just to go through uh, this REST API documentation here uh, at the bottom or just underneath cards, you should have uh, this checklist section. You can just go ahead and click on create checklist. So in this case, uh, maybe let me create a new request. And this will be a post request. Then I'll have checklist and the details I'll need to pass along would be key, token, and ID card.
and the name of the checklist. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste all these values. And then for the ID card, it would be the ID of the card that I just created, which is that string there. I'll go ahead and copy that and paste it in. And then the uh, name for my checklist will be application checklist. Now, if I open my card, uh, let me go ahead and click send. Oh, let me do this. Okay, I'll go ahead and click send. Oops, I think I created a new card, sorry. Uh, okay, here we go, send. And here's my checklist. So application checklist has been created. So as you can see, basically all you need to do is uh, go through this documentation here and make sure that you have the correct uh, parameters passed along with your request. And with the checklist that you will need to add an item to your checklist for that, you'll go through this section here, which is, uh, where is it, where is it? Under checklist, uh, create check item on checklist. So then that would be creating a checklist item which would be one of these items here, and so on. And I think that's it for this video. In the next section, I'll be uh, automating all of this or going through how you can automate uh, this process using Python.